Hello, my name is Jeff Newell, Clinical Sales Manager at Ortoped. Today we are going to take a look at the sh axis shoulder joint from College Park Industries. Formerly the LTI locking shoulder joint, the new axis has been re-engineered with a friction hinge. The shoulder joint is operated with simple switches and simplifies harnessing by eliminating the need for gross body movements. The axis can be integrated with all upper limb control systems, unlike any pro other product on the market. The axis provides better task control and natural range of motion and ease of use for the patient's daily life. The axis shoulder joint was formerly known as the SJ90 from Liberty Technology. The only joint that is in somewhat similar is the Movo shoulder swing. The axis can be mounted both endo or exoskeletal with a weight capacity of 50 pounds that includes the weight of the prosthesis. The axis has a two-year warranty. From the diagram, you can see that 14 to 16 percent of all levels of amputation are upper extremity. 1.5 percent are shoulder disarticulation or four-quarter amputation. Almost 4 percent of upper extremity amputations are comprised of four-quarter or shoulder disarticulation. Let's look at the drawbacks of a prosthesis. Large socket design can be cumbersome, heat and sweat, weight of the prosthesis, uncomfortable suspension. The benefits of a prosthesis, appearance provides an even contour, overuse of the sound side can lead to joint pain, arthritis, joint replacement. The axis joint has a very large range of motion of 240 degrees in flexion and extension with 25 locking positions that is every 10 degrees. The closest joint in function as mentioned earlier is the Autobach Movo joint with a range of motion of 40 degrees in flexion and extension with only one locking position. The axis joint has 180 degrees range of motion and abduction. The abduction friction of the axis can be adjusted very easily with a 4 mm Allen key situated at the top of the shoulder joint. The weight capacity is 50 pounds which includes the weight of the prosthesis. The axis is available in both endoskeletal and exoskeletal versions. The endoskeletal humeral plate can be cut or repositioned for ideal cosmetic contour. Use the humeral plate as is or cut to the length, desired length. The joint is assembled with a, the 35 degrees end of the humeral plate attached to the yoke plate. If you want to create a shoulder line closer to the body, simply rotate the plate to utilize the straight end and remove the bent portion. There are several options in mounting the axis shoulder joint to the socket. Number one, Mounting ring which is included with the shoulder. This is used for definitive sockets. Number two, three-spoke mounting plate used in test or definitive X-frame style sockets. The arms can be easily bent into position. And thirdly, straight mounting plate, an alternative shape, also used in test sockets. The arm can be easily bent into position. The axis is a locking shoulder joint that can also be operated in free swing mode. In the default setup, the lock is controlled via the knob on the shoulder joint itself. An optional lock release or nudge kit can be installed in place of the knob to perform the same action. The axis is locked when the spring is fully extended and the knob is near the edge of the shoulder joint. The axis is unlocked when the knob is pressed down and the spring is fully compressed. Leaving the knob in the unlocked position will allow the axis to operate in swing, free swing mode. In this mode, the prosthesis will move freely and can be repositioned and locked where desired. The lock and nudge release kits have been redesigned for simple control and have been updated for the use as either right or left side control. The lock release is built for the right hand side but can easily be changed to the left side by removing the housing and flipping the lever crank. Changing the default rotation starting point. There is 240 degrees of rotation in flexion and extension. The starting point can be changed depending on where you want the switch to be mounted. There is a fastener located on the joint itself. Lift up the humeral plate, remove the fastener, rotate the entire shoulder, and reinsert the fastener into the next available slot. This will now be your new default starting position. The axis is compatible with myelectric setup as well. The machine channel feature conceals and protects the power cables. Easily route power cables through the hole in the center of the joint, then down the channel of the yoke plate. Now let's recap the features of the axis locking shoulder joint. It has 240 degrees of motion, free swing or locked, 25 locking positions, adjustable abduction, endo or exoskeletal options available, nudge or latch release kits available as well.
Thank you.